Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link. And today, we've got something rather interesting. Something rather quick, but interesting nonetheless. It seems we might have gotten some confirmation, uh, official confirmation, that one, there is a bit of a hidden juggler mechanic within Destiny 2, and two, it's going to be getting removed entirely or heavily revamped when Forsaken comes out. Now this information is coming to us from an interview that Reddit user Zazat3 had with Bungie's own Scott Taylor at E3. In this interview, Taylor confirmed that there would be some change to the ammo juggler mechanic within Forsaken. Now this is interesting on several fronts. We as players have known that there's been some sort of hidden juggler mechanic which limits the type of ammo that you get when you're just out in the wild for the longest time but we've never really had an official Bungie statement on it. The issue has become a super frustrating one. If you're somebody who's played any amount of PvE, you've no doubt run into instances maybe during a nightfall or a raid where you just simply can't find any ammo. You're running out of pri or, uh, kinetic primary ammo, you're running out of energy ammo, and heavy weapon ammo doesn't seem to drop nearly as often as sometimes you feel it should. So for a long time, players suspected that there was some sort of hidden juggler modifier active within the game. If you weren't around for Destiny 1, juggler was a difficulty modifier for story missions and strikes that caused enemies to not drop any ammunition for your currently equipped weapon. And sometimes it certainly feels like this modifier has been active just within the PvE environment of Destiny 2. We even had this great thread a while back from Diary of a Dragonborn, who went in, did some testing, compiled some information, and tried to figure out the exact drop rate for different ammo types while using specific weapons. And in his testing, he found that while using a kinetic weapon, kinetic ammo dropped seemingly around 26% of the time, energy ammo dropped about 64% of the time, and power ammo dropped about 9.5% of the time. When using an energy weapon, kinetic ammo dropped 65% of the time, energy ammo dropped 27% of the time, and power ammo dropped about 7.5% of the time. Finally, when using a power weapon, kinetic ammo dropped about 54% of the time, energy ammo dropped 40% of the time, and power ammo dropped 5.6% of the time. Showing that, yeah, when you're using a weapon, you're less likely to get ammo drops of that matching type. At least in his limited testing, this is certainly not a sample size large enough to apply uh, with 100% accuracy to everybody who plays Destiny 2. It's not going to be everybody's experience, but it certainly lines up with the experiences of a lot of players out there in PvE. And I think Bungie made a statement about that, that they try to use the ammo system to encourage you to swap weapons. That's why when you're using a kinetic weapon, you're not going to see a lot of kinetic ammo drop. You'll probably see more energy ammo drop. When you're using an energy weapon, you're going to see more kinetic ammo drop. It was something that was kind of put in place to incentivize you to swap your weapons around, but in practice it just kind of becomes a bit frustrating when you're in the middle of a raid and suddenly you can't get any kinetic ammo or you can't get any energy ammo so you're having a rough time dropping shields and all kinds of stuff and it's definitely become a plague for long play sessions within PvE. And that's why this interview is so important, because on one hand, this is actually, I do believe, the first time Bungie has ever officially acknowledged the fact that there is a sort of hidden juggler mechanic in the game. They've talked about the ammo economy before and how they're going to be changing the way ammo drops to accommodate the new weapon slot system, but they never really confirmed that juggler was a thing. It was something we all just kind of had to infer from our experiences playing Destiny 2, so it's interesting that they're finally confirming it here, and even better, that they're saying it's not going to be a thing when Forsaken comes out. And we can definitely thank the change to the weapon system for that. They wouldn't be able to do this with the new way that primary special weapons and heavy weapons are going to be handled within the Forsaken environment. So yes, it's been kind of confirmed that this hidden juggler mechanic is indeed a thing within Destiny 2 and that it's going to be going away later on in September. Now, we didn't get any more information about how they're going to be changing the ammo drop system. They simply said, we'll learn more later on this summer. So I'm a little bummed that we're not learning more about how they're going to be changing the ammo system right now, but I am very happy to see Bungie address this and finally definitively state, yeah, it's not going to be a thing like this later on. But alright Guardians, there you go. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to let you know that the Hidden Juggler mechanic has finally been confirmed and it will hopefully be seeing some pretty big changes when Forsaken comes out. If you'd like to check out the rest of this interview, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box below, but it is on a Japanese website, so uh, it's all in Japanese. 
Maybe one of our friends from Nippon out there can go and translate the entire interview and let us know if there's any other big info in there. And be sure to leave me your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Have you experienced a hidden juggler mechanic within Destiny 2? Or is it something you've never really noticed? Be sure to let me know. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the latest Destiny 2 news. But alright, that's it for this one. Thank you Guardians so much for watching. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.